Hey guys, welcome to Phone Arena. It's Basil here and we've got a Nokia N9 to play with. Um, now we're just going to give you a brief run through uh, with, over the main features. We've had a really in-depth look thanks to the guys on site who've given us a really great tour. But to kick things off, we'll just take a look. You've got your three home screens, your notifications tab, your apps drawer effectively, and your multitasking win um, window, which is effectively just all your windows here. If I can pinch to zoom, we can see we can actually zoom in on the multitasking applications and zoom out, all one-handed. The whole thing about this is that it's a really one-handed, single-handed centric device. So your notifications tabs where all your text, your calls will appear. As far as your applications go, taking you straight to the dialer, we've got very standard functionality. If we want to get rid of the application, we swipe it out. We can then move applications around the app drawer. And so it's all extremely custom. Um, once we choose upon our applications, then that's um, all set there. We can close one or close all of the applications running. Now we've closed all of them. As far as contacts go, these are displayed really standardly, but you can search and it's all very nice and simplified. It's pretty similar um, in a way to Windows Phone 7 in terms of the really simplistic styling, which is understandable to the direction Nokia are going in. Um, as far as messaging goes, we can take a look at the on-screen keyboard, start up a new message, and we can see in portrait mode the keyboard is pretty usable one-handed. Hello, will it correct for that? Ah. Yeah. Space. It doesn't autocorrect, but that's probably something we'll, it'll get down to. Now, as far as landscape goes, the keyboard, again, very similar Symbian styling, but it's much more simplified than the one we're used to for this Mego device. Once we want to get rid of it, we can just swipe it out. When you swipe, you have to swipe from the complete edge of the screen. As far as the calendar goes, Again, really nice, simple interface. We can see viewing by month, day, or agenda. Swiping out, we can take it to the clock, where we can set an alarm pretty nice and simply in a nice tactile fashion. Saving that. Swiping out, and we can now take a look at the main other function, which is going to be your camera application. So opening that up, my fingers in the way. We can see if we move around, focusing on the chair. We've got pinch to, um, sorry, tap to focus, and to take the picture. And now viewing the picture can be done really nice and simply. It's all really intuitive. Like never used this device before, and it's just really easy to get to grips with. The image was out of focus slightly but we didn't really give it time and it was all done one-handed so let's give that another go so focusing back to the gallery double tap to zoom and there we go we can see an in-focus shot everything operates really fluidly there's really no lag throughout the device flipping that to the side and we can see we're back to the UI and the multitasking applications all there. We can close individual ones as we showed you earlier or close them all. That pretty much covers up a really brief overview of the Nokia N9 running Mego. Um, it's gorgeous hardware in the hand. You've got a concave, sorry, convex beveled glass screen. Um, it really does feel high-end and premium and the user interface is extremely intuitive as well. We look forward to getting a real sample um, that you um, will be able to give a full review of. Thanks for watching Phone Arena. This has been Basil with the Nokia N9. For more on this and other handsets, just check out www.phonearena.com.